Here we are today in Sugar Creek, Ohio. So here in Sugar Creek, this is the old Central Ohio Central Railroad freight and passenger office. The tracks are run by Genesee and Wyoming, which was Ohio Central. But this old depot is still owned by the Age of Steam. And this is the non-track side of the depot. I used to use it during the excursion train, I do believe. I don't remember what year they stopped running that. There's a lot of railroad stuff here in, in Sugar Creek, as you can see by this sign here. Birthplace of Sugar Creek, 1882-2001. Sugar Creek had its beginning in 1882 when the Connaughton Valley Railroad opened a depot here. The original depot burned in 1914 and the depot was built in the year 1915. The Dutch Valley is a nice place to eat. You got your buffet style, your family styles. It's very delicious. They got the best peach pie ever. You can run around town and see many of their murals. There are quite a few you can find. Some are animated, some are not. You can stop downtown and see their giant cuckoo clock. Or you can get you a nice caboose cabin. Or some shaped like classic coaches. There are many things to see and do in Sugar Creek. There's many places to eat. There's many wineries, many shops you can walk around at. A little town of Berlin's not too far away. Googiesburg Cheese, Troyer's. But the biggest draw for me is the Age of Steam. Their 18 Bay Roundhouse is very impressive. Many assortments of diesels and steam locomotives. Ohio Central's, due to the fact that the guy who owned Ohio Central had sold it and built this place, is a working shop restoring steam locomotives. So we'll take a look around the place and see what's going on. So I'm here with Dave from CCRX 6700. We're at the Age of Steam, about ready to take a tour. Yeah, hey. we're excited too. Very, yeah, very excited. I'm glad we met up here, Dave. It's going to be a good time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, we need to plan more of these trips together, huh? Yes, we do. We have a beautiful day out here, and it's got all these antique cars around. It's really, uh, really a nice, uh, going to be a nice visit here. Well, let's take this tour and see if we can have some fun. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, here at the Age of Steam, this is Matt, and he's going to be our tour guide. How you doing, Matt? Good. Nice to see everyone out there on YouTube. As your uh, host said, this is the Age of Steam Roundhouse. We have 23 locomotives on site, although the 23rd is still making its way onto the property. Check us out at ageofsteamroundhouse.com and book your tour today. Thank you for supporting us. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Part I was making the track. Let's do Cleveland East Terminal Railroad, the Cleveland Flats, Cleveland Flats Railroad that operates down by the river. Small little short endeavor. Responsible for this facility. A little bit of Jerry's history. He grew up in Akron, traveled all area stop now. And as a young boy, he watched the last of the steam era at the Baltimore Ohio Depot in Akron. He'd ride his bike to that location after school and watch the trains go. So 
So here's a nice lathe. It's not tiny. It trues the wheels for the steam engines. This train was actually built for the war effort. He said there's only one left under steam. It's on the Great Smoky Mountains rail excursion. Number 12 is our current, currently is our only operational locomotive. They each like to use a lot. Jerry, what do you want to do? Military training in Virginia. So they said their turntable is 115 feet. And as I said before, this is an 18 bay roundhouse. And we're fixing to go in it and take a look. Dave can't resist track inspecting. <laughs> so there's a Porter 060, number four, U.S. Navy, South Brooklyn section. I know a few of you out there have this car on your layout. Here it is in the flesh. This is a bald one. The tire heats up and expands off the rim. The tire is then lifted off and you can set a new one on. You can only machine the profile on those tires so many times until the material wears thin enough that it's time to replace it. So this one is a pneumatic engine. It operates off compressed air. They would use it in places like ammo dumps, any place you wouldn't want to fire. This one is a Heisler. It's an old Canadian national tender. This roundhouse is awesome. Can't fit Dave in with the engine. This Baldwin engine has a good example of a blind driver. 
So you can see this center driver's flangeless. It has the flange. That one has a flange. That way I can negotiate sharp turns without the center driver grabbing and walking off the rail. And here's a Wheeling and Lake Erie. We used to own the branch line that runs right past the Age of Steam. Now the branch line is owned by Genesee and Wyoming, Ohio Central. With any boiler, you have to have multiple ways of getting water into the boiler and maintaining your water level. This is one of the ceilings we have. Here's an old Lincoln pin coupler responsible for many of lost fingers. Glad they don't have them anymore. So oftentimes the first one or two digits of the number would be the class of locomotive. This one's the Ohio Central 1551. This train was used in the movie called Terror Train. We got too much light on us. Apologize if this video is getting a little long, but it is hard not to take something of each engine. They are so beautiful. Is this Chessie? The Mouser is on duty. great example of a workshop some of this still in use sorry the backlight of all the glass Carnegie Steel and Duquesne Works. Wow, look at that. Here's another example of the flangeless driver on this 10 wheeler here. It's beautiful. This one's from the American Locomotive Company. It was ran on the Grand Trunk Western 6325. This one had 72 inch drivers and could go over 100 miles an hour. And here is the tender for it. And this big boy right here is from the Lima locomotive shops. Some people say Lima, Lima. And this one is a camelback. As you can see, it's missing the hump. Uh, but they are going to restore this one for looks. It will never run, but they will restore it back to its regular camelback beauty. So here at the Age of Steam, they also have an awesome gift shop and lots of railroad memorabilia on display so the gift shop's over here and this wall is so impressive the manufacturing plates engine numbers headlights this wall alone is worth the trip i love that they have an old wigwag also they said it usually is an operation but Nobody turned it on today. Well, Dave, I thank you for the invite to the Age of Steam. I really appreciate you thinking of me. I had a great time with you and a great day, great experience. It has been just a totally awesome, awesome day. What, what a wonderful place this is. What a absolutely wonderful place this is. Just incredible. Well, until our next meet and greet, see you, Dave. Have a good one.